good fam how we doing welcome to the video trying this vlog thing out again I'm gonna show you a quick upper body session I do at the gym it's my second day back at the gym after surgery been out of there for about five weeks so can't wait to go in and get my pump on I'm gonna show you the day not really a big fan of this vlogging thing but I'm trying to get to love it I know you guys and girls always ask me you DM me to start vlogging again so let's try it out let's have some fun enjoy the video Can't even do it for the vlog, can't even do it right. You guys know how I roll by now. Half a banana, frozen is always better. And four frozen strawberries. One scoop of Sun Warrior Whey Protein. Still no sponsor code. Two handfuls of arugula, or whatever we got left. More greens, the better, you get me? Put a cinnamon in there. Drink it on the way to the gym about an hour before the sesh. Digest nicely. I'll see you guys and girls at the gym. Ladies and gents, just did an IG live. Been doing these car talks every morning. If you don't follow me on Insta, make sure you do. Rick.fit, follow me. I'll drop the link in the bio. I'm sure you do. Time to head into the gym. Let's get this work. How we doing? Fantastic gym session with my boy Brian. I'm gonna talk about him after I finish my hair. I'm gonna talk about the reasons why I need a coach, why I have a coach. But first, let me just do my hair real quick. You guys and girls know how crucial my hair is. I always tell people, it's literally my brand. It's part of my brand. It's part of Rick Fit. 
if I don't have a fresh cut, if I don't have fresh hair, what would Rick Fit be, you know what I mean? So, if you want me to do a separate video, show you exactly how I do my hair, how I tell the barber I want my hair, let me know. This is gonna be a short clip. I'll show you a bit of craziness. Any tang that I show this thinks that I'm out of my mind, but I'm a bit out of my mind. It's all right. All right, I warned you, there's a bit of madness. There's a bit of madness. Dunzo. Like I said, if you want, I'll tell you the reasons I do that nonsense. But yeah, it's all good. For the people, you get me? I always have that cut fresh every 10 days, you get me? So for those of you wondering why I have a coach, why I have a trainer, why I have someone run me through workouts, there's a couple reasons. The first reason is I'm constantly programming, you know, I have a lot of clients, I'm programming for all my clients, I do all their thinking, all their methodology, and basically the reason I have a coach is the same reason my clients hire me. They don't have to do any thinking, they don't have to do any guesswork, they don't have to do any programming, they just have to put the action in and they'll get the results. So that's the same thing. I have a guy, Brian Chow, very, very educated guy, I'll put his Instagram below. One, you know, one of the most educated guys I've met in the industry, and I've met a lot of people, I've met a lot of people in the industry. Second reason is, like I've always talked about before, you gotta always surround yourself with people who have the same mindset as you, and who are smarter than you. And I always talk about, and I claim that I'm pretty educated, and I study a lot, I'm obsessed with improvement, and learning more, and this and that. But this guy, you know, I thought I knew a lot until I met him. So, that second reason is, you gotta surround yourself with people that are smarter than you, I learn off of him, and I get better. So I can apply those things to me, apply those things to others, and spread it. That's what it's all about. Like I said, he knows the body really, really well, and I'm grateful to work with him, grateful to learn off of him, and that's about it. You know, he takes care of my stuff. You know, you guys know I come at every single rep, every single exercise, like I tell you guys and girls all the time, with maximum intent. You're there to get better. You need to perform in the gym like you want to perform on the field. That's the ultimate goal. You want to transfer that stuff that you do in the gym to the field. And his business is called Train to Transfer. So, fantastic name. Like I said, I'll drop his link below. I'm getting on the phone with an agent real quick in 10 minutes. I need to figure out my next move for football. As I'm progressing along with the rehab, I'm feeling really good. I want to make a good move, a solid move. That's it. You got a network, and that's what it's all about. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys and girls, every Friday, my dad cooks an unbelievable chicken soup. So, let's show you this. So, every Friday, he starts at about 9 a.m., leaves it simmering. We don't eat it until about 6, 6.30. He throws the chicken three, four hours before. Post-session eats. Like I always talk about, tons of veggies, good quality protein in the chicken, and then some carbs with the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. If you guys have been following me on the gram, you'll see that most of my meals now aren't high carb. As, as the intensity ramps up, I'm gonna have to you know, add more carbs. Like I always talk about, carbohydrates are key especially when you're training hard, when you're training intensely. Obviously, I'm injured now, so I cut the carbs a little lower, kept the protein high, lots of veggies. But yeah, as the intensity starts to ramp up, start to add a bit more carbs, a bit more calories, and you take it slowly. Just like training, everything, take it slowly. It's a gradual process. It's much time. You saw what I had, chicken, veg, some sweet potatoes, some potatoes. People always ask me what type of things I use to add on to my food as sauces. Yak, thick and chunky medium sauce from Whole Foods, fantastic. And a little bit of hummus, hummus, not hummus, hummus. And that's about it. Keep it chill, keep it easy, no ketchup, none of that BS. If I do get ketchup, I use this great brand called Primal Kitchen. If you're looking for ketchup, if you're looking for any sauces, I recommend Primal Kitchen. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I use their barbecue sauce, some of their dressings, and their ketchup. It's munch, I'll see you in a bit. Just finishing up lunch, watching my guy Matt Sheldon grab some post-lunch coffee, you know what it's about. You know the homie Ricky loves, loves coffee. Gotta take my supplements. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what I'm taking, recommend what I'm taking because 
I personally believe that supplements are all individualized. So I can't just give you a generic supplement list. All right, homies, post-lunch. Do a little work, about 25, 30 minutes. Some client work, some client emails. I go for a walk, about an hour walk, an hour and a half. Let the food digest a bit, call some clients. Listen to some good podcasts. I'll probably come back here. I'm gonna write an article today. And uh, yeah, that's about a wrap. I'm gonna do some PT work in, in the afternoon. Kind of groove some movements. My legs are really sore. I just added a lot of new movements, a lot of new volume. So obviously, like I always say, taking it slowly. I'm just gonna do one round of everything. You guys and girls will see it all. So I'll see you in a bit. What's up, homies? Just got back from my walk. Now I'm gonna do some rehab right now. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm only gonna do one set of each, of each exercise. Generally, I do three to four, but my legs are really sore. I've trained them very hard the past couple of days, past couple of weeks. So I'm just gonna groove some movements. I'll show you how it looks. chill out enjoy the Friday enjoy the chicken soup and enjoy the week the week's worth of work that I put in wish you guys and girls could enjoy this chicken soup with me it's fire I'm gonna open up my restaurant I think it'll be on the menu what's up homies I think the last time I talked to you was light out it was about two 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 and a half hours ago I just cranked out an article how to stay full when dieting how to stay full in a caloric deficit I'll drop the article below Check it out if you're interested. It's amazing. Like I could never do this for a school project. I, I couldn't even read the books in the class. I couldn't be focused. But when you do what you want to do and you do what you love, you just crank it out. I just sat down here two and a half hours, cranked out 2,100 words. And like a nice chicken soup on a snowy day. Happy Friday. Hi. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed today's video. First vlog in a while, bit rusty. Actually, I feel like I'm getting better every time I do it, even though I haven't done it in a long time. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, please hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know what you thought of the vlog. Recommend it to friends, recommend it to family. Most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy. You got any questions, reach out, I got your back. Time for some sleep, deuces. Oh,